Hello, my name is Riley and I'm the Product Marketer representing ArcGIS Enterprise. I'm joined today by two of the Product Managers, Maggie and Justin, to give an introduction to some of the new and exciting features coming to ArcGIS Enterprise 11.4. In this short-term release, ArcGIS Enterprise users will access updated user types and experience updates such as the removal of the ArcGIS License Manager requirement for named user licensing, updates to the definition of a base deployment, the ability to update the public-facing URL for their enterprise portal, and support for audit logging and item classification. So with that, I'll turn it over to Maggie and Justin to explain some of the highlights of this release. Thank you for the introduction, Riley. First, let's cover the updated user types at 11.4. Effective June 2024, Esri updated the user type license model to six role-based user types that extend capabilities, simplify administration, and allow you to scale as your organization's needs grow. The updated user types are now available to you upon upgrading to ArcGIS Enterprise 11.4 or later. This slide shows you the core capabilities offered at each user type level. Start mapping, analyzing, and managing your data with user types such as Creator, Professional, and Professional Plus. You can boost collaboration across your organization with user types like Mobile Worker, Contributor, and Viewer. But if you're not quite ready to upgrade to Enterprise 11.4, don't fret. As you should with any release of Enterprise, consider when the best time for your organization to upgrade is. If your organization is not ready to upgrade now, you can still benefit from additional apps. Effective June 2024, Esri delivered ArcGIS Pro Basic to all ArcGIS Enterprise 10.9 to 11.3 customers who purchased creator user types or received creator entitlements as part of their ArcGIS Enterprise purchase. Additionally, Users were able to start using now-included ArcGIS Excalibur licenses by assigning them to any creator user type and ArcGIS GeoBIM to any editor user type. You can sign in to My Esri to activate these newly available add-ons at your discretion and use them until you upgrade to ArcGIS Enterprise 11.4 or later. For ArcGIS Enterprise on Kubernetes users, Please note that the ArcGIS Enterprise on Kubernetes 11.4 release is currently planned for December 2024. Next, let's discuss some licensing management changes in Enterprise 11.4. The ArcGIS License Manager will no longer be required for named user licensing of ArcGIS Pro, ArcGIS Drone to Map, and ArcGIS All Source starting with Enterprise 11.4. Instead, license management will now be supported through the ArcGIS Enterprise portal instead of the license manager. Moving on, at 11.4, there is an update to the definition of a base deployment. In ArcGIS Enterprise 11.3 and earlier on Windows and Linux, a base deployment has been defined as portal for ArcGIS, ArcGIS server, ArcGIS Web Adapter, and ArcGIS Data Store configured as a relational and tile cache data store. In ArcGIS Enterprise 11.4, the tile cache data store is deprecated and the functionality is being replaced by the object store. Existing hosted scene layers will continue to work, but new hosted scene layers will require ArcGIS Enterprise to have ArcGIS Data Store configured as Object Store. Additionally, there is another option for customers deploying ArcGIS Enterprise in the AWS or Azure Cloud to use a cloud storage service as their Object Store instead of using the ArcGIS Data Store configured for Object. In ArcGIS Enterprise 11.4, a base deployment is now defined as Portal for ArcGIS ArcGIS Server ArcGIS Web Adapter ArcGIS Data Store configured for Relational and for Object Store This Object Store may be provided by the ArcGIS Data Store or for cloud deployments it may be provided by a cloud storage service has your organization ever undergone a name change? Maybe you're rebranding, merging with another business, 
In the past, it has been challenging to update your Enterprise Portal URL to reflect a new name. Now, ArcGIS Enterprise 11.4 has introduced a new API to allow administrators to update the public-facing URL for their Enterprise Portal. In ArcGIS 11.4, modifying the domain, subdomain, context, or any combination of these URL components will be supported. Now, let's talk about audit logging in ArcGIS Enterprise 11.4. Organizations may need the ability to audit their business systems in order to reconstruct past events. They may be hoping to answer questions about configuration and security changes, actions taken by users, and more. New in ArcGIS Enterprise 11.4, Audit logs allow organizations to answer these questions by providing records of events happening in an ArcGIS Enterprise deployment. The 11.4 release will focus on Portal for ArcGIS activity, including user logins, token generation, and create, update, and delete operations for users, roles, groups, and items. Lastly, some organizations may need to classify items in order to denote the level of sensitivity associated with an item. For example, your organization may need to classify items for the following reasons. Classifying sensitive items that by law or regulation can only be accessed by individuals with particular security clearances, classifying items to protect trade secrets, Classifying items to conform with laws or regulations related to privacy, legal proceedings, or the timing of financial information releases. With ArcGIS Enterprise 11.4, organizations can opt in to applying a unique classification schema for their organization and classify those items based on that schema. These unique classification schemas will support adding appropriate classification and dissemination labels to items within the ArcGIS Enterprise Portal. And that's the last of the major updates coming at the 11.4 release. Thanks for tuning in. We hope you found this video insightful for what to expect with ArcGIS Enterprise 11.4. Until next time.